my lovely readers welcome to living the tales with me priyanka if you like reading with me please do not forget to like subscribe share and turn on the post notification bell to get notified every time i post a new story today i'm so excited that i've got the opportunity from the author martin hesford who is an award-winning professional film writer from the uk to read his first children's book the moon is blue I will be reading a few chapters of the book, but if you like it, you can buy the book from the link mentioned in the description box. So let's get started as we read The Moon is Blue by Martin Hesford. The Moon is Blue by Martin Hesford. Chapters 1 to 4 Someone said, we read other people's stories so we can understand our own. This is my story. Chapter 1 Dream The night before my 16th birthday, something strange happened. A dream! And my dream went like this. I was lying in bed. Then all of a sudden, I was floating out of the window. I was floating over fields of flowers. The flowers were different colors. They were glowing like a thousand electric light bulbs. Ever so bright and colorful, like the colored lights on a Christmas tree. They smelt of my favorite sweets, and I thought to myself, what a way to travel. It beats riding on a bus. And when I thought of a bus ride, I thought of her, sat next to me, like the day she gave me the gift of the blue rose. And when I thought of her, there she was, lying next to me both floating over the fields of electric light bulb flowers, together holding hands. And when I looked down, one of the flowers sparkled more than the others. Its light was so bright. I knew the light meant something, but I wasn't sure what, until suddenly the light shone even brighter, a flame and it burst into blue. Chapter 2 Magic The first time she appeared, the lady in blue was sat up in the branches of a tree. Me and George were playing a game in the park. Look at her, I said. Who? That lady sat up in a tree. Oh, yes, said George. What is she doing? Perhaps she's bird watching. No, she's not, said George. She's watching us. Am I, dear? said the lady. Her voice was mysterious. Her words floated down to us like snowflakes. Magic. Chapter 3 Hovering The second time she appeared, the lady in blue was hovering over the chip shop. She's back, I said. George looked up into the air. Oh yes, he said. And she's staring again, nosy thing. George is my best friend. He lives next door. My name's Florence. I've always been called Flo. I'm nine years old, and George is nine and three quarters. Me and George go to the same school, and we both go to the same chip shop for our tea. Mom goes to the bingo a lot, and Dad doesn't cook. George's dad is never at home. He goes to the pub most days and stays till late. George hasn't got a mom. She died of something serious in her lungs a few months back. They found a lump. 
The chip shop is around the corner, next to the gas works. It's called Mary's Place. We live in Manchester. That's a good trick she's doing, said George. Hovering. Perhaps she's a magician assistant, I said. No, said George. Magician's assistants usually wear sequin bras with sparkly shoes. That's true, I said. I saw one on the telly. She had a poodle and three white rabbits. The lady in blue doesn't have any of these things. She didn't even wear shoes. Chapter 4 Mystery Who is she? I wonder. The two of us were standing in my kitchen eating biscuits. Perhaps she's from a circus, I said. Yes, said George. They have a circus every Easter in the park. I went there when mom was alive. It was good. She could be a tightrope walker, I said. No, said George. I don't think so, because she wasn't wearing any tights. We could see her bare feet. She didn't even do the splits. She just floated. Perhaps she's some kind of flying acrobat? I said. No, said George. Wearing that long blue floaty dress, if she tried to do a somersault, she'd get herself tangled up, wouldn't she? That's true, I said. It was a mystery. Thank you so much for watching and reading along with me. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and share.